Last week, PlayStation released a brand new cinematic advert to celebrate and promote the worldwide rollout of PS Plus Extra and PS Plus Premium. In the same vein as PS3's legendary Michael commercial and PS4's initial Greatness Awaits ad, this project is live action and focuses on the role players fill in their favorite games, what they take away from those experiences, and how virtual lives can come to help define a real one. As is now tradition, the new video, officially titled Mr. Malcolm, is packed with easter eggs referencing games that have shaped PlayStation's legacy and identity. I've done my best to use my Witcher Sense-esque PlayStation fanboy vision to find each and every bitten bauble from PlayStation history here in the commercial. Let's take a look! Just after our titular figure leaves the restaurant, we get a look at a drawing on a brick wall. While the concept of a graffiti easter egg has me thinking of 2019's Concrete Genie, if we look at the colors here, this appears to be everyone's favorite PS1 platforming dragon, Spyro. Though now owned by Activision, Spyro was created by PlayStation Studio and Somniac Games. Okay, now this next one is such a reach that I'm throwing it in just to illustrate how hard I was staring at this footage and how hard I was racking my brain for possible connections. These columns here brought to mind for me the little sister tunnels from Bioshock, which were also seemingly referenced with Atreus using a similar structure in God of War 2018. Later, in the butcher shop when Mr. Malcolm is selecting a choice cut of meat, we see that he's wearing a PlayStation Plus ring, very appropriate as it's the subject of this promotional piece. This comes up again later as well. As he returns home, we can see the number by his door, which, to my surprise, appears to not be any kind of reference. The PlayStation 1 was launched in Japan on December 3rd, which can be written as 12-3 or 1-2-3, and this was in fact used in a Japanese marketing campaign for the console, with a group of excited fans chanting the numbers. But the 7 here puts a lid on that. Once inside, we see a traditional astronaut suit, or at least a helmet, and some sort of old school armored headwear. Our astronaut gear here could be based on the beloved scene in The Last of Us 2 featuring one of these helmets, but is even more likely to be a reference to the White Shadow from Returnal, while the other hat calls to mind Ghost of Tsushima. In another room, Mr. Malcolm is seen feeding his strange pet fish, and hung on his walls are framed butterflies. My sad, sick, Silent Hill obsessed mind told me that this was a callback to an important location in the first game, Alessa's room. And it could be, but what's more likely is as this Twitter user points out, that it's a tribute to PS4 exclusive title, Until Dawn. Shortly after, we see flowers that upon being watered, sprout long yellow-white stalks with glowy yellow ends. If this isn't just another non-referential fantastical element that's meant to invoke the wonder and fantasy of games in general, like the odd fish we saw previously, the only possibilities I see here are that game company's PS3 title Flower, where flowers bloom immediately upon touch, or more likely, evident from the colors and features of the flowers, is that they reference stage 3 of Cordyceps brain infection, also known as Clickers, from the Last of Us series. The next easter egg is the one that I am 100% bona fide certain about, and it's the trophies. It is my big brain theory that his bedillion trophies are a reference to PlayStation trophies. On Mr. Malcolm's fridge are photos of him in samurai armor, a basketball jersey, a spacesuit, World War II garb, and an Old West outfit. While the Red Dead Redemption, Ghost of Tsushima, and NBA 2K Easter eggs seem to be pretty overt, as there's only one NBA game, we only have one real Old West themed series anymore, and Ghost of Tsushima is a prominent PlayStation Studios title from Sucker Punch. The spacesuit could be from one of many space-based titles, though yellow is a prominent color in Eternal's branding and its main character Celine's outfit. And with the World War II photo, there are so many games set in World War II, both retro and modern. Who's to say what this would be directly connected to? Though if we want to trace it to a PlayStation franchise, Insomniac's PlayStation 3 launch title, Resistance Fall of Man, is an alternate history title where in the middle of World War II, an alien invasion occurs. Next, the gentleman opens the door to his basement using his PlayStation Plus ring, implying that the service is the key to everything beyond the door. And now we're in the most easter egg dense part of the ad. To our right is a bridge baby pod holding BB from Kojima Productions' Death Stranding. Immediately after, we see a saw cleaver straight out of Bloodborne, featured in the game and also on its box art. There also appears to be something else on the rack too, which makes me wonder if we'll be seeing more of this room. Maybe from different angles and set photos, a second advertisement, or perhaps in an ARG campaign. Okay, I've got no idea what the electric eel is for. There's an electric eel boss in Fumito Ueda's Shadow of the Colossus, but its electricity is yellow, not blue. Our only other PlayStation connection to the theme would be Cole from Infamous 1 and 2, but he's just like a guy. No fish DNA that I'm aware of, nor are sea creatures the source of his power. What do you mean, though? Listen, I'm up here, it's dangerous. 
And now this alien in a jar. This is from... Man, I hate to be stumped twice in a row, but I don't have a clue. Destiny 2, Warframe, Returnal. I can't find any Spaceman thing that resembles this one-to-one, -one, so I'm thinking it might be an original commercial creation. Behind it, though, is a reference I'm fairly confident about. There's a gas mask helmet tube combo, a trademark of the antagonist of Guerrilla Games Killzone series, the Hellgast. Next up, we see a watcher from the Horizon series scanning Mr. Malcolm, who seems pleased to have run into this goofy bot. It watches him leave the room, and among a wall of dog tags that the camera focuses on, we see a firefly pendant straight out of Naughty Dog's The Last of Us. I'm not too sure about these next two. These are tough. At first I thought this frozen explosion was more of a general representation of the bombastic action found in various games, but upon looking closer, the way that the rubble and rock clings to the ball of fire is reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII's infamous meteor. And the gold watch, clock, or timer that Mr. Malcolm touches and pushes back, I did a good bit of research and I came up with very little that this could be connected to. A Monster Hunter weapon pendant? Unlikely, despite the resemblance. This wouldn't be the iconography that you'd use to mention Monster Hunter. A Crash Bandicoot time trial clock? Crash is important to PlayStation, but I don't think so. PlayStation does have a marketing deal with the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. Could this be a time turner from the Harry Potter franchise? Doubtful. This would be an odd way to bring up Harry Potter with other icons available for use. Since these are the only three incredibly reachy things that I could find, I think the inclusion of the frozen clock that Mr. Malcolm pushes back in a commercial for PlayStation Plus might just be referencing the new edition of Save States and Rewind to PlayStation 1 classics featured in the service. The next room we enter is an armory. Many of the blades and guns appear to be generic ones, though one futuristic firearm looks like it could be from Killzone or Destiny, and the pistol top right looks to be a Mauser, like the fan-favorite Red 9 from Resident Evil 4, whose remake was recently revealed at a Sony State of Play. Speaking of Resident Evil, check out the typewriter on the desk. There's also two Psy at the bottom right, and whether it was their intent or not, shout out to Melina. I love Melina. This next artifact is the one that feels the most obscure and hidden to me, but I'm pretty confident in the connection I've drawn. When I first got a look at the skeleton in the glass case here, I thought maybe it was a shallow uncharted easter egg. The series often deals with lost cities, treasures, and archaeology, and the museum-like presentation here had me thinking that that was correct. But upon closer inspection of this bony boy, I noticed he was missing something. If we take a close look at the skull, there doesn't appear to be a bottom jaw. And there just so happens to be a first-party hero from a PlayStation 1 game, later remade for PSP and then for PS4, Sir Daniel Fortescue from the Medieval series. We're then given looks at two iconic masks from recent games, Higgs from Death Stranding and Jin's from Ghost of Tsushima. A door on the left ominously freezes over as Mr. Malcolm walks by, but isn't given any attention by him or the camera, which further fuels my speculation that this isn't the last we've seen of this room of relics. The only connection I can make is to the upcoming God of War Ragnarok, both because of the ice element of the Leviathan Axe and the snowy setting of the second game. Kratos and Atreus seem to be bundling up in the game's key art. The man then feeds a raw steak to what appears to be a zombie he's keeping as a pet? PlayStation is no stranger to zombie games, but I can't think of anything this specific relationship or dynamic could be an easter egg for. Not Days Gone, The Last of Us, Dying Light, or Resident Evil. Though, fun fact, Resident Evil Survivor for PlayStation 1 did have an ad that featured a purple zombie, and the hand we see appears to be that color. Maybe the zombie is a stand-in for PC gamers? Mr. Malcolm offers the steak, but only passes it after making the creature wait for a while, similar to how PlayStation Studios games seem to be coming to PC in a window between six months to four years after launching on PlayStation. But that's certainly not it. Mr. Malcolm turns to greet his other pet, a cyborg dog, unlikely to reference anything despite the existence of Sony's Ibo and Fallout New Vegas' Rex. On a shelf to the right appears to be a skull of a chimera, the alien race from Resistance. And in the very last scene, we're brought back to the restaurant where the video began, where we see that Mr. Malcolm tipped his waitress in pirate's gold, specifically a coin from Henry Avery's treasure, featured in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. So what do you think? Did you spot any easter eggs that I missed? Do you disagree with any of the references I mentioned? Have you tried PS Plus Extra or Premium? And does anyone know where that damn alien is from? Let me know what you think! I enjoy this ad a lot, and not just for the scavenger hunt. I like the appeal to emotion and the story the project tells. Plus, the music they chose is excellent. I really appreciate you watching my video, and you'd be doing me a huge favor by liking the vid, sharing it, and subscribing to my channel. Have a great day, and enjoy your gaming.